Hello beautiful people. Here's a quick look at the first vehicle from the new battle pass called River Hunter. The French LVT-440. Hope you enjoy. In War Thunder we already have several different variants of the LVT. And LVT stands for Landing Vehicle Tracked. Now France also gets a version of it, and it's for its better rating a very powerful one to boot. And on top of it, it also has premium bonuses. Let's look at some of the pros and cons for the French LVT. Some of the pros. Powerful armament. The LVT has a 40mm Borfoss gun as main weapon and two coaxial Browning 12.7mm heavy machine guns on either side of it. The 40mm Borfoss has access to two different kinds of shells, HE and AP. The AP shell can penetrate 58mm of armor at 500m and 72mm at point blank range. You have a total of 354 rounds of 40mm shells and 2400 rounds for the two heavy machine guns. Survivable. The LVC has 5 crew members, so there are 3 guys that can be sacrificed for the greater good of keeping you alive. Besides the crew, the vehicle is a lot of empty space, so there's a good chance that a shell will just pass through the vehicle or do minimal damage to components or crew if it hits. Light tank. The LVT is considered a light tank, so you have the added bonuses of scouting and the ability to repair other friendly vehicles. Amphibious. The LVT can go for a dip and not drown. And some of the cons for the LVT. Large target. The LVT is pretty damn huge, so hiding it is going to be an issue. The vehicle will stick out like a sore thumb and you will attract a lot of unwanted attention. Open top. Three of the five crew members are exposed in the open vehicle and can be easily strayed from the air. Luckily they are sitting so deep in the hull that it's very difficult to be machine gunned to death from the ground. So there's a small pro in there as well. Poor gun depression. The biggest con for the LVT is in my opinion the very low gun depression with only minus 3 degrees. Since the guns are located fairly high on the chassis, you will have blind spots all around the vehicle close to you where you cannot aim. Furthermore, the lack of gun depression will make it almost impossible to not expose a massive hull when trying to aim downwards from an elevated position. No armor. It still needs to be said that you only have 12mm of armor towards the front and just 6mm everywhere else. So this first battle pass vehicle is deceptively strong. You have a 40mm gun that can penetrate everything at its battle rating and most vehicles in Optius. In fact, if you look at the battle rating 2.0 French SPAG, the CCKW 353AA, the LVT can fully take over its role and do a much better job in the process. The LVT has the identical gun with identical turret rotation and elevation as the dedicated anti-aircraft vehicle. It has two more crew members, some armor, and God help me, two additional heavy machine guns. And if you have issues with hitting planes with a 40mm ball force, no worries. You just use the 250 cal similar armament as the first US anti-aircraft vehicle has, the M13. So in their wisdom, Gaijin made the SPAG in the regular tech tree completely useless if you get this battle pass vehicle. I think this is an amazing first vehicle for the battle pass. And if you happen to be thinking about grinding the French tech tree, this is a perfect low tier vehicle for it. And you get both a light tank and excellent anti-aircraft vehicle in the process. It will make the already effective French BR 2.3 lineup crazy strong. I actually think it's too strong of a vehicle, but I'm definitely not complaining. That was about it for this little review. Thank you for watching and until next time. Remember to deploy the die brakes. Have a good one.